All right, what's up everybody? Uh, this is Johnny again coming at you with our pre-training uh, video number two. Now I hope all of you guys took the time to watch the nutrition training video to give you a better understanding of how nutrition is gonna play a role um, not only in this six week challenge, but in you know, maintaining you know, longevity through your health and fitness. So if you have not watched that video, please go back and do so because it's probably gonna answer you know, more of your questions or you know, questions you may currently have. Now, once you watch it, if you have questions outside of that, I'm here to answer them. But you know, I'm asking uh, that you make sure you watch these videos and watch them over and over and over, even over the course of the six weeks, not just today, not just tomorrow, but over the course of the next six weeks so you can better understand what we're going through. You know, this is a course for you guys so you can learn how to do this and, and understand the process um, in order to reach and maintain, you know, your health and fitness goals. So um, today I want to touch in on the workout side of the program. Okay. So what kind of workouts should we be doing? What should we be focusing on? And the importance of being consistent with physical activity through working out and strength training. So there's two kind of components to your workouts. Uh, there's the strength slash weight training. And then there's a cardio. Okay. Now we're going to integrate both of these into your daily routines. Obviously, if you guys are doing boot camp, you're getting the best of both worlds. For you guys who are doing the at home option, we're going to integrate these into your at home options as well, um, which are primarily body weight workouts. If you want to grab you some dumbbells, um, some light dumbbells and utilize those, um, that would be ideal as well because, um, you know, you can't do everything with your body unless you got something, you know, to utilize such as a TRX with those yellow things that we use at the gym or some type of dumbbell to add resistance to certain body parts. But we're going to be utilizing strength training slash weight training or resistance training. And then also we're going to tie in cardio. So before I get into designing the workouts with you guys, I'm going to get you, I need you to understand, you know, the importance of each um, uh, part, part of the plan. So each of the components here. So first off, I'm gonna get into your strength training. So we know that our metabolism will decrease by an average of 10% a year if we do nothing. That means we're gonna start losing muscle and we're gonna start losing muscle fast. And when we lose muscle, we lose our metabolism. You know, you hear a lot of people, you know, talk about how, you know, uh, you know their metabolism has slowed down. Of course it has. You're not doing anything to increase your metabolism. But by incorporating, you know, uh, strength training into your routine, you can increase it by 40 to 60 percent. All right. Which is the goal. We want to get our metabolism up. We want to get it rocking and rolling so that our body starts to work for us and not against us. Now, to give you an example on exactly how this works, um, one pound of muscle. And again, this is on average, guys. This is going to give you a ballpark to work with. Burns 50 calories a day. Could be 40, could be 30, could be 50. Again, everybody's different, but the whole point is your muscles are gonna assist and increase the metabolism burning calories throughout the day. So let's say, you know, over the course of, and again, I say this in the long term because muscle is hard to put on. You're not just gonna magically put on 10 pounds of muscle in six weeks unless you're taking a lot of supplementation, which is not your goal here. So let's say that you put on 10 pounds of muscle over the course of the next year, and at the same time, you drop 10 pounds of fat. First off, that scale doesn't change one bit. So I need you to understand that, you know, not that, not that we're replacing one with the other, but, you know, in the beginning, you may not notice a big, a big shift in uh, your weight dropping or changing because internally things are, are, things are working. You know, your body's learning to do, use different sources of energy to get you to where you want to be. So let's say we take 10 pounds of muscle, we add it on you. At the same time, we remove 10 pounds of fat. Now, at seven days a week, at 50 calories per pound. Now, again, this is over the course of anywhere between eight and 12 months um, because it takes time to put on muscle. So that's why I need you guys to understand that it's just not about the six weeks. It's about getting you going and then keeping you going through the long run. So now by adding 10 pounds of lean muscle to your body over the course of a year at seven days a week at 50 calories per pound, guess what? We just increased our metabolism by 3,500 calories, all right? 3,500 calories we are now burning because we added some lean muscle on the body. Now, the cool thing is about this, because we added some muscle, we're now burning more fat. Again, it's all, you know, dependent on your nutrition, but in reality, if we're doing what we're supposed to, this is equal to one pound of fat. 
So how would you feel if you could burn a pound of fat while you're at work throughout the week? Because that's what's fixing to start happening. I need you to understand that. This is not a quick fix, guys. This is not you're going to lose 20 pounds in six weeks. I mean, it's a possibility, yes. But our focus is longevity as well. So if you lose that weight, you're going to keep it off. And we're going to continue the process beyond the six weeks. So we're now burning 3,500 calories while doing nothing, um, which is equal to one pound of fat. Boom. Now, you cannot beat that. So imagine if you would have done this in the beginning, if you would have got on a fitness program, been consistent with it, not tried any of those quick fixes. Imagine when you started that process, where you, had, you, where you would be today if you would have just done it right the first time. Think about it. All right. So these are proven, these are proven ways. Um, to get your results, guys. This isn't something I'm making up. These are proven ways that people get results, our clients get results if you follow the program. Now, let's say you are here. You're at body A with a goal to get to body B, whatever your goal may be. So it could be a weight number, it could be a body fat number, whatever your goal is. Now, what we need to do is start working out. So let's say that we're working out three days a week and we're getting in on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, and then we have a workout A, B, C that we follow. And again, for those who come to our boot camps, our workouts are never the same. So you're going to understand this process. So what most people do, and this could be some of you guys, is they go to the gym or they start a workout program and they do the same thing week after week after week. Never changing up a thing. Does it work? Oh, yeah, of course it does. In the beginning, you're going to notice – Hey, you know, I'm losing weight, you know, I'm feeling better, but you know, two to three weeks in, you're probably going to hit, you know, that dreaded plateau. All right. Because your body has now adapted to the new stress that you have put on it. So it's used to doing what you're doing. So what do we do next? What we do is we take these workouts and we take each component to these workouts and we change it up. So we could change the amount of weight we're using. We could change the amount of reps. We're doing we could change the amount of rest between um, each exercise we could change the exercise again you can take one workout and make it more difficult over time and continually get results utilizing the same exact exercises um, but that's what we want to focus on changing so that we overcome that plateau and our body consistently changes to get you to your body B which again that's your goal, your long-term goal, which is going to be what you're going to reach by the time you are, um, you are where you want to be um, in the long run, all right? So we got to utilize strength training. For you women who, are, who don't lift weights, you have to start lifting some weights. You are not going to turn into a dude. I promise you that. That's the biggest issue that I have with women is when I try to push them on weights, you know, the first thing is, am I going to get big? No, you're not. You're going to drop some body fat. You're going to lean up and you're going to start seeing more definition because you're lifting weights, you're increasing lean muscle, and you're dropping body fat. So to the eye, you're seeing something you've never seen before. So to you, you're like, oh man, I'm getting, I'm getting all this muscle. No, that's muscle that was there. Now you can see it compared to before you couldn't see it. So get really, really understand that. And not only that, women, obviously the hormone difference between women, men and women Men carry testosterone, which equals more muscle. Women carry estrogen, which equal more body fat. So, you know, women are naturally going to carry more body fat. Men are naturally going to carry more lean muscle, all right, if we're living the way we're supposed to. So we got that nailed down. You've got to do resistance training. If you want to increase your metabolism, burn more calories, and increase the rate at which you reach these health and fitness goals, you've got to lift weights. There's no way around it, okay? If you're not lifting weights, then you're burning your muscle tissue and you're wasting, uh, you're wasting away. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is cardio. And then we'll get into how we tie all this together. So cardio, you know, there's a few different ways we can do cardio, but I'm going to get into the, the, the way that most of y'all should be focusing in on right now. So most people, boom, they go into a gym, they get on the elliptical, they did get on the treadmill and they walk. They're not monitoring their heart rate. They're just going for a brisk walk. Now, for some people, this is intense. Yes, for those people who don't work out, this can be very intense. But for those who are working out and continuously walk at the same pace um, every single day, 
then in your mind, instead of increasing your intensity, you're gonna focus on duration. We're not here to focus on duration, we're here to focus on intensity, reduce the amount of time we spend in the gym um, so that we can still get the same results as if we were working out for hours a day. So again, what we call this here, steady state cardio. There is a time and place for it, but not when it comes to getting some freaking results in the gym in the beginning of what you're trying to accomplish. So you burn calories, but at the end of this, you stop burning calories, okay? So what we wanna focus on is put our body in a position to where it's burning calories all day long, all right? And we do this through a form of interval training. You know, you're sprinting and you're walking. You're sprinting and you're walking. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna tie into, you know, your program. I'm not gonna ask you to sprint and walk, but this is the concept behind interval training is getting the heart rate up, allowing it to come down, giving it everything you got for 20 to 30 seconds, and taking a break for a minute. That's the concept. Now this is proven to increase your metabolism for up to 38 hours after your workout. Now the reason being is your body is now in a higher demand of energy. Uh, second, we're putting our body in a position to where it's maximizing what it can do. And what I mean by that is the amount of oxygen your body can consume throughout that workout. So what happens, we're utilizing muscle tissue during these workouts, but we're also utilizing the heart and getting our heart rate up and we're maxing out what our heart is able to do. So at the end of that workout, once you've completed your uh, interval workouts, then your muscles have to recover. That's gonna stimulate our metabolism and your body's still fighting for oxygen internally. So your body's still doing what it can to get oxygen into the body, which allows your metabolism to stay up consistently after the workout. But these, again, intensity is different for everybody, but these workouts are there for you to increase your intensity over time. So what's intense to uh, Miss Mary may not be, you know, intense to Miss Jane, you know what I mean? So uh, we just wanna make sure that we're increasing intensity based on you as an individual throughout this program. So that's the kind of cardio we wanna dig into. And like I said, if you're in our boot camps, we structure it in a way very similar, focusing on strength training first and cardio after, utilizing a little bit of interval training. But how are we gonna tie this together for you at home individuals who don't have your workouts? We're gonna do the workouts for you. I'm gonna send them to you, send you a video of each exercise with proper form. And I'm gonna send you the template of the workout with the exercise, the rest periods, the weight, all that kind of stuff, which for you guys is primarily body weight. So here is the workout structure for the next six weeks. Okay, three days a week for resistance training, meaning we're doing body weight or weight training. Okay, now for those of you who are doing boot camp, you continue to come in and do boot camp um, on a regular basis because you're gonna be, you know, I can say, you know, at a more advantage because you have, you know, some assistance in there, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you at home people aren't gonna get results. You can get results just like our boot campers can. Remember that. So for you guys, the structure is gonna be three times a week resistance training for 30 minutes, and then two times a week, just some cardio, okay, for 30 minutes. 30 minutes a day is all you need to get some freaking results, okay? That's all you need. So. Um, Three times a week, body weight training, resistance training, two times a week cardio. We gotta get that heart rate up and we're gonna do it in two ways, through interval training, and we're gonna do it through utilizing cardio, okay? And on, a different, uh, on a different day. And again, those workouts are done for you as well. So let's talk about the design of your strength training sessions and what you can expect. So if you have any issues or need any modifications, please let me know in advance. So the way we structure our conditioning type workouts, you know, and I say this because this is how I design them in my 30 minute sessions with my clients, um, is we're going to take a lower body exercise. And we're gonna do an upper body, another upper body, a core, and then we're gonna toss in some cardio, okay? So what does that mean? We're gonna hit some squats, we're gonna hit some push-ups. Maybe hit in some bicep curls. We're gonna hit a plank. And then we're gonna do some mountain climbers. 
okay? So you're gonna go from here to here to here to here and then rest, okay? Now we've got our rest periods in through here, okay? So you're gonna notice rest periods. And again, if you've been working out consistently, your rest periods can be shorter. If you feel you can continue going with less rest periods, go for it. But typically you're gonna give me 30 squats, 30 second break. You know, uh, I would say 10 to 20 push-ups because everybody's strength is different, 30 second break. Biceps, 15 to 20 reps, 30 second break. Plank, we're gonna go 30 second plank hold. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds, and then you rest. So your rest periods are here. And the times in your exercise are here. Okay, so rest periods, and either you're gonna count your reps on your squats and your resistance training exercises, and you're gonna count time on your core and your cardio mountain climbers. Again, this is an example, guys. So I will make modifications and add modifications to the workouts in um, the membership site once we get those put on there for you guys to access, okay? And you're gonna do this for 30 minutes. Boom. And you should get in three to four rounds. All right, and that is our goal. Three to four rounds, we should get in a good 30 minutes. Um, give it everything you got for 30 minutes. That's all I'm asking. You have 30 minutes of your day that you're gonna spend taking care of yourself. And you're gonna give it everything you got for 30 minutes. All right, all right. So I hope all this has made sense to you guys because I wanna make sure that you have all the tools necessary to reach your health and fitness goals because you signed up for this challenge for a reason, okay? Either you're struggling, you've hit a plateau, you haven't worked out, maybe you're gaining weight, you got off track, whatever it may be, you come to us you know, for a reason, okay? Um, and we have the solution for you and that was your thought when you signed up for this program. And this is your solution. I'm giving you your solution to your problems before we even start the program so you can be ready mentally and physically to hit the ground running on Monday. Um, but today, that's what I want to focus on is getting you to understand what your workout structure is going to be like, what your cardio structure is going to be like. And my expectations over six weeks are five days a week physical activity for 30 minutes per day. Um, so, guys, if you have any questions, uh, reach out, you know, again, this is going to be posted up in our membership site in our Facebook group. Um, so you can comment in the Facebook group, ask questions. And again, we've got about four days left. Now is the time to be consistent with your questions because once we get going, we're running. Okay. We're running at full speed. So this is why I'm giving all this to you in advance. So you can better prepare yourself with your questions and I can give you the answers before Monday comes. Now, I know you're gonna have questions um, throughout the six weeks. It's, it's obvious, you know, I'm here to help. That's what we're here for. Um, but make sure you watch all this stuff before you go asking questions about this stuff because it's, it, it's explained here. Um, so you guys have an awesome day. Um, make this week to mentally prep yourself because if you're not mentally prepared to get through this challenge with a positive attitude, and ready to remove all that negativity, it's gonna to be tough. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I've had people join in on this program, barely make it three weeks, and give up because they can't be consistent. Um, they're not giving it everything they got, they're making excuses, and they just quit. So the goal is to make sure that we overcome all your excuses and anything else that's gonna get in your way of reaching your health and fitness goals. So you guys have an awesome day. Um, reach out if you need anything. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Take this week to get ready because, again, Monday, we're hitting the ground running. Y'all have a good day.